From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weekend weather. Hey, good morning, folks. Let's take a look at weather where you live for today, January 1st, 2000. And 24. Hard to believe now that I'm saying it, but here we are. And it's a pretty nice day today. Over the last few days, I was talking about the possibility of maybe some showers, but I've gone ahead and scrubbed that from the board. I don't think we're going to be seeing any of that today, to be honest with you. And they were low chances to begin with, right? I think we're going to stay cloudy to pretty decent. I don't think we have any issues today. Going to be cold, though. Cold front came through last night. And we're going to be staying in the 40s across the area. You notice know, in Lewisburg at 42. Then as you head down towards northwestern Alabama, you get back down to the mid 50s or mid 40s, rather, with mid 50s yesterday kind of being a far cry, right? We're a good 10 degrees separated from yesterday in this aspect. Futurecast kind of shows you what I'm talking about. Mostly clear skies, a few patchy upper level clouds over here, but I really don't see any huge issues, right? Looks like that system's going to skim safely off to our south, and I think our next rain chances probably come later in the week. That's towards Wednesday, but today and into tomorrow, yeah, no issues. Looks like the first couple days of 2024 looking just fine. Now, let me show you on the big picture what I'm talking about. So this high pressure system has been doing us favors, that's for sure, but this system right here, boom, moves through. We're really on the northern periphery of this system and we're really kind of cutting it close, right? I don't think it's going to be a huge rainmaker. Rain chances are pretty small, but a few showers could probably inch up towards North Alabama and Southern Middle Tennessee. So we'll keep a close eye on that. But notice we really are on the very, very northern periphery of it. And that thing moves out pretty quickly towards Wednesday and Thursday. And then towards Thursday, towards Friday, don't see any issues. I think we're doing just fine. I think temperatures are right about where we should be as we head over the next several days and into the first week of January. And I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah, I don't see any huge issues about it. I do think rain chances are creeping in towards the end of the week and into next weekend in a more widespread fashion. I'll discuss that more here in just a few moments. Hour by hour forecast for today, mostly clear conditions, a few patchy clouds in the midday, temperatures hovering there in the 40s for your highs today and tomorrow as well. I think upper 40s are probably going to return for tomorrow. One over two of us might hit 50. Don't think that's going to be widespread, so it's going to be fairly chilly. Again, a few showers possible. This system kind of scrapes us in the Tennessee Valley. Dry Thursday and Friday. Next big system towards Saturday. We're going to keep an eye on that. Uh, again, you're going to see a lot of hype. This happens all the time. People always say, oh, we're going to get 12 inches of snow. Or on the other hand, oh, we're going to get tornadoes everywhere. That always happens when systems are four, five, six, seven days eight out, you know, like that. But listen, none of that. Don't worry about that. Tennessee Valley weather here. We'll keep you updated as we get closer to the system. And I'll tell you what I'm thinking about this system right now. Full disclosure, I think this is just a nice beneficial type of rain with some fairly cool conditions. We'll keep a close eye to see what those totals will be like and see if it adjusts north or south. But yes, that's about all I'm thinking right now. A nice beneficial rain to still a drought stricken Tennessee Valley here as we head into 2024 at last. So otherwise, I don't see any huge issues. I think this week, the first full week of 2024, is doing pretty good besides those scattered showers possible on Wednesday. Thanks for watching this forecast update, and God bless.